Hey guys, it's Melon Bun Nails, and today I'm going somewhere super exciting, and I'm taking you guys with me. We are going to Annie, aka Tengoku Nails, anime art class with Nail Labo! Woo! I'm so excited! So I'm about to head out, and I'm taking my best friend with me for good luck and moral support. Um, I'm super excited to take this class. Annie is one of like the best and one of like my idols, especially when it comes to anime nail art. So I am hyped to be taking the like have this opportunity to take this class in person and meet her and learn her techniques and also meet other amazing artists. So I'm hyped. And then after the class, I'm also going to be meeting up with one of my really good friends who does nails, Lynn, aka Only Hands Nails. We're going to get boiling crab for dinner and meet for the first time in person. So I will be filming some of that too. So y'all can meet her with me in person. Yay! Today's just overall a really exciting day and I'm so psyched. And just plugging some of the jewelry I have on before I head out. Um, it's actually one of my New Year's resolutions to support more small businesses and shop small rather than buying like designer or big brands. So here are some pieces that I recently got this year already. You know, I'm already doing my New Year's resolution. I'm on top of it. So this necklace and these earrings are super cute, handmade by Keys BB Crystals. Here's her Instagram. Hit her up for super cute pieces just like this, all handmade. And then these hair jewelry danglies are from Aelin on TikTok. She makes hair jewelry and also other really cute, like, jewelries, like, I think, earrings. Um, and it's just so cool. It definitely spices up your hair look. And it's just connected by a bobby pin, so it's very easy to just put wherever. Um, super cute. I love it. She actually... I actually requested if she can make green pieces and she acknowledged me and was like yes definitely and made these super cute like green with butterfly and gold pieces which are so me i love it so much so those are two small businesses that um if you think these are cute which i think they definitely are definitely give, give them a look check them out and support them and now we're ready to go! Yay! Let's go! Before I get to my class, I'm first at the mall, the South Coast Plaza, because I had to pick something up for my boyfriend. And they also have a Pop Mart store here, which is a lot of my, like, one of the brands in my favorite blind box. So I'm gonna head there first to check out what they have and probably buy something. This one for Neo for the next time I see him because he loves horror. So next time I get my next tattoo, I'm gonna give this to him and see what he gets. These ones are so cute. They remind me of my godson. They look kind of like him. So just parked in right where the class is gonna be and I'm 
what time is it i'm 20 minutes early i don't know if i should just go in already or i guess i'll just go in but i'm feeling like so nervous right now i'm so nervous oh my god but i'm also excited so it's like nervous excited excited nervous Yee! okay okay let's go let's go finished class with Annie. She did such a great job teaching. I had so much fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. I enjoyed teaching you. Thank you for being here. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Bye. She's the best. Go follow her. <laughs> Back in my car now that was so fun my first in-person nail class and meeting annie ah i have like so much what do you call it when like you're super excited after like certain events or social interaction i can't think of it right now but that's what i have um social high i don't know but i bought a couple things too that i'm really excited to try from the nail labo store they have really cool brands they have um brands i've never heard of i think they're japanese brands honestly they had a lot of apres um i'm gonna try a bunch of these ageha things that annie was also recommending like their chrome powders and stuff and uh i'm going to try this presto all-purpose gel which she used in her class too and recommended for helping with making your line art clean which is something i definitely that's a new technique that i learned so i'm definitely gonna try that um so super excited to use it but anyways yeah that was so great i really enjoyed and i'm so excited and down to take more in-person classes now and nail labo said that they're planning to have some more classes in the future i'm very fortunate that it's not technically my area it's still like an hour away from me but you know it's only an hour away i can physically be here so i'm super excited to take classes in the future but yeah um Thanks again to Nail Labo for hosting this and to Annie, aka Tengoku Nails. Here's her social again. Follow her. Check out her work. If you don't already, what are you doing? She's one of the best nail artists out there. Best anime nail artist in the game. Um, thank you for hosting this class and teaching us all of your amazing tips, techniques, and skills. I definitely have learned a lot and will apply them in the future. Alright, now it is time to head over to have dinner with my friend Lynn, aka Only Hands Nails. Let's go! I'm here with Lynn. It's our first time meeting in real life. We're about to eat 
Nutella shrimp. All the shrimp with our bare hands. Bare hands. <laughs> Go follow her on Instagram. Only hands nails. Check her out. Her stuff is sick. Like, look at her nails right now. The lighting makes it like strobe. <laughs> I don't know how she does that. She's got God hands. God <laughs> hands right here. Only God hands. Oh my God. <laughs> I got my bib. I'm about to put on my gloves. I'm about to eat a hella shrimps. We got Lynn suiting up. I'm ready to devour my victims. <laughs> little, little shrimp heads. <laughs> Our shrimps are here. And I got eggs because I'm trying to be fancy, you know. We got an egg shortage. <laughs> the aftermath. Our victims. All of Lynn's victims. She killed it. Look at all that. It was very good. Very good. Thank you for my first time at Boiling Crab. Pop and Perry. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go at Boba now. We're now struggling to pick Boba oh because God. we are very indecisive. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what I want. Too many good options. Too many. The cutest Sora bag. Oh my god. Slay. Mm -hmm. I'm finally back home. And I didn't get to show this when I was in class, but Nail Labo also supplied us with some goodies after class, so let's see what they gave. All right, we got, ooh, some cute nail stickers of like hearts. Oh, perfect for Valentine's Day. Also got a Presto um, file. Got this Nail Labo. I think these are like sea pink seashell. Pink seashell? Um, what do you call these? Shavings? <laughs> and nail parfait. Looks like glitter. Silver glitter. We have, oh, this is really cool. Purple, like a magenta y purple chain. And last but not least is these i'm pretty sure these are sticker sheets or not sticker sheets um what do you call it palette sheets but let me just open it to be sure Ooh, palettes i think they can also be used as like sticker sheets too right so i think that's what i'll probably use it for like molding 3d and stickers since i already have my own palette and then I also bought a bunch of stuff from the store too because they also were really generous and gave us a, I think it was 15% or what, the receipt, 15% discount? Let me see. Uh, yeah, like a 15% discount for taking the class. So I bought a bunch of stuff too. I got these cute little spatulas, which are perfect for picking up glow pigment, um, which is primarily what I'll use these for, glow pigment. I got this chrome powder, just like a simple, which is surprisingly I don't have, just like a, you know, to make glazed donut or Hailey Bieber style nails, just a simple one. Uh, I also got one in black because I don't have black chrome actually. Super excited about this one. More of these little sponge. What do you call these actually? I don't know what you call these. Makeup eyeshadow applicators, but you know, good for chrome. Uh, another color hue of the normal like glazed on. I think I think this one has like a slightly more white finish and this one's a slightly more blue finish but still like both are pretty right oh i bought the presto um lint-free wipes the lint-free wipes that i currently use are not lint-free i mean i got them on amazon but they be leaving hella lint so uh we got to use these in class and i really liked it they didn't seem to leave any lint on my nail when i was whenever i wiped stuff so i bought 
my own thing of it and I'm gonna you know try using this out and see how I like it and then one thing I'm really excited about which I learned from Annie in the class was to use all-purpose gel. This is the one from Presto that she was using for the class. So I picked it up too um, to use this all-purpose gel to help just make my line art very clean. So yeah, that's my little gift haul from the class and then my haul from buying it with my discount after class. And just take my little Sailor Moon nail. So, I'm not entirely happy with how I did. There's a lot that I would fix. One thing that I really don't like is, so I usually don't um, map out, like do the guidelines uh, for the reason, which is why some of it looks a little bit weird. The reason being like, if the guideline isn't being blocked by something else, like if it's just on the skin, I had to kind of like, I can't erase it because it's cured on. I had to take more of the skin color and like kind of try to blend it on top of to hide the guideline, which ended up making it look really streaky. So that's one thing that, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but one thing in person you can definitely see it's pretty streaky in those areas where I had to hide the guideline. So that's one reason why I usually don't do guidelines. I did it for the class because, you know, it's part of the class. And also, I think my shading looks pretty splotchy. I could have done a much better job shading. So those are two big things that I am not too happy about with my work here. But otherwise, I think the rest looks, you know, looks like Usagi, Sailor Moon. And I'm happy with it. And the class was really good, so... But anyways, that was such a fun day. I'm super tired now because it was pretty much a full day for me. Like I woke up 12 hours ago, started getting ready, drove to the area, went to the mall first, then went to the class, did the class, shopped after the class, then met up Lynn for dinner and we was chopping it up at a boba shop afterwards and then our drive back home. So I'm tired, but it was such a great day. I'm so glad that I was able to take this class. Again, thank you so much to Annie for hosting such a great class and to Nail Labo for hosting it with Annie. Super excited to take more. And also so happy to have met Lynn. I'm definitely going to hang out with her more and hopefully we can do more fun things. Um, and she'll do my nails too. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you had a good time coming along with me on this journey. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's blocking my face because I sit so high up. I'm not a good